Hey, what is it guys? It's Manalus, and welcome back to Moonlighter. Last time, we did a couple runs in the forest dungeon, and I think we did pretty well. We ended up dying the first time, sadly, but luckily we did not lose much, because our inventory was basically empty at the time, and we ended up still bringing a lot of goods into the store. Now, if you did watch the last episode, you would know that we are just about ready to go on our final showdown against the grand enemy that we are about to face, aka the boss. And I hope that we can take it down on the first try, and maybe on the second run, give you a little bit of a look into what the Desert Dungeon has to offer. But yeah, we got all the fabric armor to pl on pluses, we got even some pluses on weapons, and we still got a okay amount of money, not too much, but still something that's gonna serve us some little extra pennies once we actually go there. So yeah, we got nothing we have to prepare for anymore, there's nothing else we can do. Oh wait, what is this? Hold on. What? Why is the hawk marked as an exclamation mark? Oh well. Well, I got that anyway. But anyway, um, let's get straight into the topic here. Let's go go straight for the boss here because we got nothing else we have to prepare for. We got the potions, we got the armor, we got the weapons. So now, it is time for us to do our final run into the forest dungeon. Hopefully. Assuming I will mess up. I might have to do a second run if I am completely out of practice here. At least I now know how to avoid my poisons. That's a good thing already. Need to be really careful with these because they hurt a lot. Already two curse removals. Really? Oh damn, I'll take it. Let me just actually um, be a little bit careful about this. I'll actually gotta take these off. Try to stack up as much stuff as possible. Luckily, we don't need any more stuff here, so it doesn't even come down to wishlist items anymore. We just want to get as many valuable items with, with, with us as possible and move on from there. But yeah, with the maximum gear, like, this is honestly like, you know, cake cakewalk at this point. We can, like, see the power creep between, like, new tiers of gear is, like, insane. Like, like the moment you get to the second tier or the next tier, you just know that your power level is gonna go from 0 to 100. And you know it's pretty much impossible for you to, like, finish the dungeon without getting the next tier of weaponry. Well, not probably impossible, but very difficult, but there's no reason for us to go further anyway before that, because we won't be able to make the new weapons unless we get the previous tier done first. Oh. I already found one of these, huh? Okay, how about I just clear up the whole floor and then I'm gonna fill that up? You guys actually do melee damage on me. Nah, I don't have a reason to know out. I don't have no reason to find out. Won't get so many encounters with you guys anymore anyway. Alright, so that's that. Let's go check then over here before we go on the chest. At least floor one is super easy now because of like how OP, OP I am and of course it being floor one, of course it's gonna be super easy, but I don't know. Compared to like the previous episode's beginning, it feels so weird how much easier this is. Alright, let's go use this thing over here. Put all the extra stuff that I have in here. Actually, I'm gonna keep this. Just because I like the uh, curse removal. Very convenient. Everything else can just go, though. And this is gonna go in the corner, just so not use it by accident. Ah, <sighs> very lucky we actually found that already, although I think on first floor that's kind of a waste. There is not even enough rooms for me to fill out my inventory completely. Oh, the tree just fell down so quickly. I'm so sorry, man. I don't mean to make you feel miserable, but it's about we ascend from the forest dungeon and move on to the better fields. All right, what's in here? Okay, pots, pots, pots. Not so valuable, but I'll take it. I already found the second bo second room boss. I guess that means I'll be coming here later. We know the path, so all we gotta do now is just, like, clear out the rest. Right, this is a pretty easy one. Let me just break the curses over here. And I guess when I once I get another curse breaker, I can put it here. That would be nice. And this thing is gonna go right on this stack. Yeah, baby! And I didn't notice yet that there's still some je jelly that I can just grab. I'll go grab that later. Assuming it's actually gonna stay. Actually, do this stuff stay? Does stuff stay? Yeah, it does. Yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff. Now, what do I do with you? I guess a direct approach is the strongest one. No qualms about that. Whew. That was a good slide, honestly. Alright, come here, come here, buddy. I don't wanna play this game with you again. It's not exactly fun. Because you're so annoying to hit when you're running around like a bitch baby. Alright, there we go. I had to do that. Otherwise, this would have taken forever. And as much as to do value patience, I don't think I have the luxury of patience with that stupid running around slime dude all around. 
Yeah, we can easily deal with you as long as we play the patient game. I mean, all I have to dodge you once, and then you're basically free. I'm already starting to run out of space, but we only got this one random magic mushroom, which is worth nothing. So I'm just not gonna bother with that. Both my better gear and also the expertise I've grown for running in this dungeon a few times definitely has grown up on me. Kind of sad when I just got the hang of things. I just had to go away from here because we no longer have stuff to do here. It's infinite grind and power creep of RPG games that will eventually catch up with you. I have no goal to pursue in this dungeon anymore. All we gotta do is clear the path to the next one. Yeah, that's second floor all done. Third floor is gonna have the most stuff, obviously, but I wonder if there's gonna be a lot of money we can make from that. And how quickly can we kill this one? Oh, you already did that? Really? I thought you were always guaranteed to do the, like, the, like, the ball flicking from the tree itself at the beginning. Well... Took a little bit of damage there, but that's okay. I can just heal myself up and get back into it. And obviously, I'm still on full potions, so... Yeah. We're totally cool. Drip deep into the pool of youth and get back into the action. Let's hope the green slime dude is not gonna come bother with us on the last boss. No, no, not this time, baby. Not this time. Not gonna play your game. So this is the fun portion where we're starting to get all this return home and stuff. And this one stacks of jottings. Oh, my God. Okay, first of all, I'm not gonna be handling this for too long. Same with this one. Let me actually see, what is this exactly? It would serve me a lot better. Oh, old bulbs. Nice. In that case, I'll keep that. I will hold on to this. Actually, nah, no, 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 no. Check this one. Ooh, nice. Forest fruits. I think for items that are worth money, I think I'm actually gonna like turning these old bulbs back home. And as for life fluids, we're not gonna be grabbing these anymore. What's pure acid or... Life fluid more productive, more expensive. Yeah, pure acid was worth less than life fluid, so it's better if you turn these life, life pure acids into fluid vessels. So leave that there. I might make some changes later, obviously, but that's my preliminary decision. And yeah, there's nothing we can do about these little decorations. They're literally just decorations. The reason I haven't been touching those before is because I think I always, like, got that up subconsciously after playing it a few times. But man, like, I'm kind of sad, honestly. Felt like there could be more interactables than just bushes or other, like, little things you can slide over, like mushrooms, I guess. Or, in this case, bags of fertilizer. Strong leaves were w even worse. Guess I'll that's bye-bye to them. Get myself another stack of life fluid. Won't care about the plant flesh, honestly. Not even worth, like, selling. Dude, you're big! Aren't you more big than usual? Okay, how was the essence? Um... Essence says, right below life fluid. Well, that's not worth grabbing then, unless I'm gonna drop one of these. Ah, well, I don't care about that for now. Yeah. Oh no, not the boomerang leaves. Oh, actually they kind of throw them through obstacles, it seems. Well, that was a very, very easy pattern for this one. Well, it does save me the effort of trying to deal with those because that thing was definitely my death before. Almost, at least. Nearly caused my second death on these dungeon runs. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Okay, that's a new one. That's a new one. Ooh. I'm kind of scared to go in because there's so... Because there were so many ranged enemies there as well. Okay, that we're good. Ooh. Okay, I can easily get you now. Now that you don't have your friends anymore. Oh, potions! So many potions! I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Thank you. So that's... <laughs> hey, potions. <laughs> I have more than I came up with. Come on, man. Oh, one of those plates. That's not... Okay, so that's your movement. You make a linear path whenever you charge in at some direction. I guess you're gonna, like, charge diagonally or then it's because... Well, there was no pa clear path to me. <sighs> Speed powder. Um, well, fertilizer is the least worth it here right now, so I guess I'm gonna drop that. Definitely the three plates are worth it. That's like 9, 10k right there. 10k because of the high value. What, again? Are you kidding me? Oh, they sure did want to make this one tough, huh? Not sure if this is because they know it's like my final way, basically, because of my gear, but... That could be just a mere co coincidence. That's my first time I've had a, had a mimic ever since my first dungeon, and that's like two in one run. That's crazy. 
Well, I still ended up with more potions, so I'm not complaining. Man, 10 potions. We might have a full stack for the next run, too. Which would be very nice. Oh, we found the boss room already. And we have cleared a very good amount of the dungeon already. And this was a secret room. What's in here? Book. Is my spawn the thing? Mm, you know what? For one book... Actually... Does the green thing come for boss rooms? Is this a risk I'm gonna take? You know what? YOLO. I'm gonna go for it. In hopes it won't spawn, but it spawns well shit. Yep, it spawned. God damn it. So we gotta make this quick then. I just rather not give you a chance to spawn, buddy. Oh no. Oh, this is not a good time to get stuck in a slime. Okay, just keep moving, just keep moving. There was another chest here. I know the slime dude just came, but it's okay. As long as we're in this window, nothing can happen to us. This is definitely worth nothing at this point. One stack of this, worth nothing. Curse removals, curse removals. There's so many conversions. Emergency health amulet. What? What is this? Ring that increases the healing value of potions by 50% when HP is under 20%. Well, that's honestly pretty damn cool. I might actually stick to that. I just dropped my speed powder. Before I even looking into what items I have here. God damn it. Um, to be honest, this artifact is not worth so much. So I don't really care about turning this into anything. So I might as well remove that curse. Then we can remove this curse. So we can stack those together. Which is going to be using the other curse removal item. There we go. And put this back there. Now, there's no recurses I can remove anymore, but I don't need to, because everything else is just gonna be turned into one or the other. Hmm, I really wanna keep the crystals, though. We were kinda low, if I remember, last time, so... Probably not waste those. Which is worth more? Ten life fluids, or... Oh, definitely five fluid vessels is worth much more. Okay. So, oh yeah, there was also the acid fluid. So how about I turn this into fruits, then I turn this into body new jottings and then with the rest honestly the bow is not gonna be worth so much compared to the rest i want the ring the speed powder is worth more than these fluid vessels honestly so i might actually rescind that that decision yeah drop these fluid vessels the potions i will definitely want to keep i guess for the time being i'll stick to the full stack that i have for potions uh am i really gonna better full stack of that Hell no, I'm just gonna drop the rich jelly. I think we had enough of this. And speed powder. It's not worth as much as the desert steel sheets. You know what? I don't think we need so much of the venom jelly either. Screw it. Oh, damn, they're making this really hard on me, huh? Then get out the inventory and directly change this ring because I don't care about the anti-confusion amulet so much. I like the bonus healing. Now, please don't jump on me, man. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. We go for the boss, we go for the boss. Assuming the next one is the boss room and not like some other like side room before that. Hey, buddy. Lovely to see you, man. I'm glad to see that you're caring, taking so much care of me, but I'd rather if you would leave me out of your foster care for just a little bit longer. I'm uh, a little bit stuck with something else in my mind right now. Yeah, there's another side room here. But if you get rid of those mushroom dudes quickly, then we'll be fine. Uh, love it. Right, let's go in then, I suppose. He actually comes here. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, no. I'm glad I have the extra potions then. Oh, God. What are you gonna do, man? What are you doing? Oh, they're turrets. Oh, wait. I think that... I think the green slime dude is actually gone. Maybe they actually won't come here. Ow. Oh, we're playing bullet hell now, huh? Man, I should have just, like, dodged over that. More turrets, huh? Gotcha. Oh, you can actually slide over them. Well, that's convenient. We can use our own power against you. Yeah, this boss fight is going actually pretty well, gotta be honest. And with no slime dude here, definitely a lot more chill than expected. And that's it. Yeah, that wasn't so tough now that uh, 
we had all the gear here. And we definitely overprepared. We had more than enough potions thanks to the mimics partially. And also we did have like pluses even on armor. Last time we didn't have pluses on everything. I don't think we had a plus on the other weapon. Not that I even used my spear. But yeah. That was pretty swimming. Yeah, seems like this guy will leave us alone for the time being. Not having to deal with you all the way. Well, those petals are definitely worth something. I can already smell it. I'll drop these for a time being, just to see for myself. Uh, Carnivores with hay seeds. Yep, one of the most expensive items in here. I think the speed bar is gonna be worse here now. Yeah, it's gonna be the worst. I guess I'll drop it. The fertilizer, unless there's a big stack of it here, I won't bother with that. There was one ancient wooden one the bushes, but that's about it. Guess there won't be anything else. Carnivorous Mute Amulet. Ring that boosts the owner's health, but also weakens their defensive power. No, we don't want to lose that. We love our defense so much right now. It's been very useful for us. I don't need extra HP if I can survive just fine with the, what I have now. And in turn, I'd rather have the defense that makes my HP more useful. Right, there's also some more acid that doesn't really change anything, but I'll take it regardless, I guess. More chodings. Now there's carnivorous mate chodings. By introducing a steady stream of LF1 to a plant in place of injections, we have to create a plant large enough to produce fruit for a city. Wait, that was lore I actually never realized that there actually was. Hold on. We were an intelligent species. So when the food shortages escalated, we believed that we could solve the, our problems with science. We created the LF1, and for a while, things were good. Food was once again abundant, and forests began appearing for the first time in ages. The forest didn't stop growing, though, and slowly our world was covered. The plants didn't stop growing, though, and slowly, they took over. We originally wanted to improve harvest sizes, but the introduction of the LF1 strain seems to have given plants a self-awareness. Dude, this is starting to sound super sci-fi at this point. Plants moving of their own accord? Possibilities are limitless. A better harvest is only the beginning. I wonder if you could domesticate them. With continued injection of the LF1 strain, particular plants have become formidable creatures capable of aggression. We must keep this in line. Well, clearly you did not, since I was attacked. And I took that personally. So this is gonna be the problem here. We got so many one stackers that we don't really care about. Okay, that one we don't want. Take the ring. Oh, we had actually three more bulbs here. God damn it. Well, the bulbs would have still been a little bit worse off, so I guess I'm just dropping all the bulbs. The forest history. I'm taking these just because um, they are the books after all. Maybe not the most valuable things. Yeah, honestly, like, honestly, the good stacks are much better. Much better. Uh, the fluid vessel. Neutral. I'm pretty sure that this one's demand is high. Probably, at least. Well, potions. We can make more. We could make more money with these items. Guess I'll sell this. And for the remainder of the items, I guess, yeah. The two stack of chodings are gonna be less worth less than these items here. But yeah, never underestimate the value of stacks. Those stacks are worth an insane amount of money. This is gonna be the last loot we have. Not the best I've seen, but... Something I'm pretty proud of in the end. Okay. That was it. Smooth cut and squick. Let's teleport. I bet we have some more story to explore with this one. Yep, it seems like everything is turning accordingly into items they were supposed to become. Nice. It is time for us to expose the desert dungeon. After taking probably yet another amount of scolding from our old man. Oh dear, here he comes, very intimidatingly. Boy, you defeated the Golden King and now the Forest Guardian. You risk too much. Pushing me to a heart attack is what you're doing. Your grandfather would be worried sick if he was still around. Worried. And unreasonably proud. That's true, I know that. I can just hear him. My grandson, a merchant of the state's guardians. Can you believe that? That man, as stressful as you. <sighs> At the request of the town, I am to inform you that the desert dungeon is now open to all. Fools. We closed these dungeons for a reason. Additionally, there should be a new shop expansion on the town board. Hopefully, they will keep you busy, away from any further guardians. Moonloiter is starting to look like it's old. Peace is out, though. Well, interesting. We actually did not even have a chance to get the next shop upgrade, but I'm lo I would be loving to take that and get us the new shop upgrade as, as soon as I can afford it. Maybe even tonight. Yes. Yeah, so all the items are already wishlisted, so we don't have to worry about forgetting about those anymore. Ah, there actually was some pretty cool weapon designs here, it seems. But that we never looked too much into them because we didn't care. They were not weapons we cho chose. Yeah, so we could do... 
a banker now, yeah. 70,000, don't have the money right now. And I think that's gonna require me to be during the day. And the next shop upgrade is gonna be 120,000. Ooh, that's a lot of money. 190,000 just to get all the shop upgrades. And maybe... Cash register, 260k. Then... Ooh, that's actually 20% extra. Oh, God. Yeah, that's gonna be priority one there. 260k, 330k, 400k. For all these items that I actually care about. The sale box, not so important to me at least. But maybe that's gonna change at some point. If I get too much of something useless and not so valuable. Right. There was nothing else I needed from here, right? I should take this just because I can buy it. I feel like collecting them all. Ooh. Wait, we already knew about the carnivorous mate miniature. Or wait, did that appear later? Like now? Yeah, I don't remember there being any other thieves probability decreasing item before. Well, I'll take that actually, thank you. Maybe I'll use it later once I get some more space on the next upgrade. But right, it is time to put this good shop into use. I'm so excited. I'm wondering if I'm getting any good like um, commissions for, for the desert dungeon. I hope they're not giving me like commissions to the old dungeons anymore because, well, I'm, I'm not interested in entering those. But I guess I can just reject them or just not do anything about them anyway, if I'm really not feeling up to it. Alright, so... Assuming this increases the value of the items on top of that. So these things, 5,000 normal. We only have one copy, two copies of these actually. I'll take this. So if 5,000 was good price before, and we had a 20% increase to that, that would be 6,000. If this actually increases the value... I think it could go for between 6,500 and 7,000. Perhaps even a bit more, but let's try 7,000 for that one. And if it seems, if it doesn't actually increase the value, then it will only sell like at max 6,000. So this will be a great way to find out. Another thing I'm gonna grab as value here would be the carnivorous mutate shotings, which I will put at a solid 5,000, because of course that's uh, the maximum price this can go for. Or 6,000 actually. Just because of the clan pricing. Okay, do I have any recollection how this went? I think 19, going to be a 1950 might have been pushing it. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Actually, I'll do that to the seeds. We got three of these seeds and they're worth like almost as much as the, as the totings itself. So each of these for 6,000 make 18,000 from selling these. Or actually, no, 7,000, 7,000. If they actually go high value, right? So did I have any reinformation? Was 2 to 25 too much? Yes, 2 to 25 was too much. Okay, 2200 for now. Although I'm not gonna this stack because this is worth less, so I can get more later. 2200. These things were. I wanna have one stack, so I'm actually willing to just go a little bit more daring with that one. Now let's go check if anything else I could sell is in here. Fertilizer, more fruits. Uh, this, this. Huh. Bulbs, I got those too, it seems. Yeah, actually, I have another stack of water here. I think I'll sell the four stack and try 1950. Or, nah, I'm just gonna try going a bit beyond 2000 of the next stack. Yeah. I think these are gonna be worth selling next. These things are like, the rest of the things I would actually sell are kind of low worth, so I'll come to these as secondhand items. I still have some spaces to fill, so I guess I could still. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So. Put that there, because we won't be selling that. We literally cannot do that. We still got five slots. Okay, so we cannot fill the shop directly now. Oh, actually, we can. We can. We have another ring here. The Carnivorous Mate ring. There we go. So if we just grab everything else that we're going to sell in just a bit, once we fill up all these po positions on the shop, then we'll look at the go. So start off with this thing. Put that there. The Desert Metal Sheets. High value, 20%. 2050. I'm gonna try 2900, but because this is high value, that means it's gonna be 580 bonus, so 3 for 80. All bulbs, only stack, so I'm just gonna go crazy with this one. 2350, I would say. I guess. Oh, these are training gloves. Well, these were not worth taking with me. Thousand other was still good. How about I'll try 1400 on the high price value? Then, um, I guess I'll do fluid vessels. This is my only stack, so. Okay, I actually had this very closely estimated. 1775, 1800 is too much already. So that's that's how that's how we're gonna do it. So grab all of this. Right, let me put this here as well here really quickly. There we go. Alright, all of our stock is with us, so let's go ahead and get the customers in. Hello, Ira Shaimase, and enjoy my new and renovated shop. 
with much more nice goodies for you to grab. Oh dear, this is so awesome. It's so more it's so much more spacious and overall just, you know, the feeling is just so much more grand. And we can fit into so much more customers now, I think. Okay, so this that got sold, so now I'm just gonna go and scam these people. 2050, I would say. Or 2100. Yep, good price. Thank you for buying that. I guess that means I'll be scamming with this one. 2300. Yes, everyone's favorite scam, art, scam artist move. I'll do this one for 2300 too, just to see. Okay, yeah, the glove is actually still sold. So I got a pretty good hang of the price increase here. Oh, not the jotting, not this jotting. I'll do the strong lease for the time being. Maybe 500, maybe that's a bit too much, but eh. At least I know then. 475, I believe, would be the good price for that. Okay, it seems like it goes directly from high to low if you do, like, sell at a glum price. But, I mean, it would go, like, to neutral price anyway after selling once. Okay, 2300 was still acceptable, but we don't got any more anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, 400 was too much, it seems. How? I mean, 500, how about 475 then, as I said? And while you're switching, I could do my straw. 575. Seems like that's like the middle ground there. Honestly, a very small gap between too expensive and um, okay price. Like good price. Mm, 1200. And also, I guess for fertilizer, because it's a bit higher, I haven't sold anything beyond fertilizer, sadly. Okay, 1500. Just to try it out. 2100 for this is too much. How about 2075? Don't worry, I got plenty of time to do this. We got so much more space after all, and so much more variety. So I'm not like, you know, suppressing customers from getting anything nice if they want anything. Wait. Did they just look into this and not even care? Okay, they just said no to that. Okay, 450. That's too expensive. All right, how about 2325? Maybe? Okay, 2075 wasn't good. How about 2050? I agree with that. Okay, now the ladies went for 450. Thank you. Uh, life fluid. 460 was okay. Now, I forgot I could actually do like this five still at these price ranges, not just 25s. Keep dreaming, buddy. That's my precious possession. This was. How much was it again? 2900 and 3380. 3480. And Ancient Wood. I guess I'll try this for 1500 too. Oh, Katamari Golem. Uh. Sure, why not? I'm going there anyway. I love how they're calling it Katamari, which is literally ball in Japanese. Okay, that's expensive. All right, how about 6,500? Okay, that's too expensive. That's for fertile soil, which means that the wood is still not out of question, but it's likely that it won't work. Okay, that's too expensive. 2,300. Okay, the fertilizer was too much, it seems. 1,175. Oh, that tree is, yep, it's gonna get rejected. Oh, wait, you can see here. It's actually high price now. It's high value. Oh, it actually works like that. That's awesome. Okay, so 1,400, and I'm gonna do this 1,350. How about that? The cabinets actually increase the rarity of these items. In that case, I'll do the same trick with this one. So 60, I would say 6,700, honestly. 6,500 was like still okay price. Right, let me now put also, I'll do the life essence first, or light essence. And if I like start running out of time, I might actually like bargain sale those other, other items that I have. Yeah, no bargain sales for you, baby. I sell all my produce at, at its full price if I can. Okay, so sell this. Partial stack for full for normal price still. And then scam them. Did anybody say anything about the book yet? No, it doesn't seem like it. Or maybe it's because it's a fake price. Okay, that was too much, it seems. 6,500. I'll do the same to this book. And what I mean with the fake price is because it's like, you know, high high priority, not like normal price. So it doesn't like, it doesn't like show the information. Wait, why do I have still one here? Let me fix that. There we go. And the plant flesh, I guess. 85. Is 6,500 okay? Too much. All right, how about 6250? All right, so magic wood. The lowest thing I've sold so far is plant flesh. And that was like with some very minor success. So I'm guessing this is gonna be like 150, I guess. Not that I'd really care if somebody gets it, gets it off cheap. It's not like worth anything anyway. Okay, pure acid. This thing, 500 is not the way to go. I'll go for, for 450 on this one as well. And the fertile soil, because if that was not good, then we have to 
change the strategy. I'll do 1200 on this. And the wood, it still hasn't had a comp competitor, but I'm gonna try that anyway. Oh. 1350 is still way too much. 6250 was a good price for that. Okay, 1300. Okay, so books are gonna be high value, and they already are anyway. So 6250 was an acceptable price. Thank you. Oh, dude, we already got over 200,000. First, I'm actually checked into it. This is still worth too little. How about then dropping off to the last stack of these? Highest possible price point, 2075 potentially. Did you not like this? I guess they didn't like it. 75, I suppose. With a good price. Okay, that's still too much. Oh my god. Okay, 1100. Okay, then the last book. 6250, just like the other one. Actually, nah, 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 nah. We got the ever chotting, we got the ever chotting. We got this one here. I'll do this one for, is it a thousand, maybe? Oh, that was an expense, that was a rich customer. All right, all right, you can have the plant fleshes for that price. Although, I don't know why you want plant fleshes over this gorgeous, gorgeous chotting over here. Every rich man's dream, man. You should definitely buy it, only for 69.99. Oh, we're done. <sighs> well, didn't sell everything, but we still did make a lot of money. Not quite enough for all the upgrades, but we can make all the most obvious ones we need to make. Which would be the cash register upgrade and save up for the banker. We could also do something else, I suppose, but maybe I should save up. Actually, I'm not gonna save up money yet. Yeah, no. Uh... Let me just take these off for a bit. Let me put them in the chest for the time being. Along with these items that are over here. Oh yes, crystals. Very nice to see you guys. Yeah, when we only got like 20 crystals, it was very vital we actually got some more. Venom jelly, we don't have so much of it, but it's definitely good enough for the potions we have right now. I think we should be finding ourselves the other type of jelly by the time we uh, run out of those, which would enable us to make even better potions, so I'm not too worried at this point. Right! With that done, let's go see what the next dungeon has to offer. I'm really looking forward to this. So let me just double check first. Do we have to be on day? Yes, we can only do this during the day. So, honestly, 190,000. We are gonna have 68,000 once we buy both the shop and the gas register. So we only need to get like 2,000 for the banker. And I think we should be able to find enough random items we're just gonna trash away and get 2,000 from that, so... I guess I'll actually do the gold cash register and also do the better shop. Because we can. Ooh, I'm I'm really just excited in my toes. How's the next shop gonna look like? Hope you like this one. I have put a lot of effort into it. Well, I guess you don't have to convince me anymore that this is gonna look so much better. Oh Okay. So I can get myself a cashier, it seems. Employ another one. And it's gonna get 30% of my profits. And it will also chase down robbers on top of serving customers. Well, currently, I'm not really in a problem with the thieves. So I don't really care about that too much. But wait. Where's the items that were in the pedestals? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. In here? Oh. They went here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me just fix that real quick. Actually, I'll keep that there. These are already high value, and I don't care about the robbers. I can deal with those very easily. So that being said, let's put up everything in place. More money. More money. In here, I guess. More duration. Or oh, this more generous customers. Nice. Uh, more time or less thieves. I guess more time. I can skip them whenever I need to. But that was like a very short day for me, sadly. Uh... Definitely more tip over here, I guess. Wait, how many? We can have four, four wall decorations. God damn, bro. Okay, so definitely increase the max number of visitors, I think. Don't care about the queue timers because I deal with them pretty quickly. The speed of visitors is definitely something I find high priority. So two over capacity and one speed. Man, this is gonna be a very cool shopping run when I come here tomorrow. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice, honestly. I mean, okay, we could have had, like, plants. You know what? It actually annoys me now. I'll have the, all the plants here. There we go. And this one is more, uh, I guess, rustic. So we can now have eight customers in the shop. How cool is that? <sighs> we'll have to see how that's gonna be tomorrow. For now, I'm settled with this. Right. 
The next dungeon is here. Desert dungeon. Only for heroes. Well, I don't look like a hero, but I sure am a very capable merchant, so come at me. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Ooh, we got some... We got some very, um... Is it, like, okay or appropriate to say Egyptian music? Like, like how would be, like, Arabic music? I guess? Ow, 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 ow! Don't burn me, ow! Oh, there's a slime there. Fair enough. Those are definitely sand traps. I saw that coming a mile away. Those are blocked by obstacles, it seems. That's good. Careful, careful analyzing. Oh, there's a secret here. Oh, okay, we already found a safe chest. Well, I guess I'll come back to it later. Ooh, Takamari. Wait, oh, that's a note, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's the quest item. Okay, so we actually have to grab these as physical items. Pay special attention to the lava attacks of these lifeless creatures. This lava eats away at the best armor, burning you alive beneath it. Well, you're just basically explaining to me the basic dot mechanics. Thank you very much for this very useful information. Let's see, so, chilled lava and desert stone. Desert stone is a little bit more valuable. More valuable than the desert still is sheet, actually. And they gap out at 3200. Well, that's already 10k right there. Pretty damn nice, if I must say. That's some more fire jelly. I mean, that's what it's called. Yeah, it's fire jelly. But well, that was quite obvious. Fairly easy enemies so far, although they're much tougher than the previous dungeons for sure. Ooh. So this is the last dungeon. Seems to be the tech dungeon. Maybe maybe it actually was called tech dungeon. But there definitely is tech. That's for sure. Whatever it's worth. Crystal shards, the worst. 500. The wires. Between... 7200 and 500, so maybe these are like 2k a piece. We got two wires. Eh, not so good, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Well, thank you for a sneak peek. Looking forward to the deck dungeon then. Although I guess sci-fi would be the most likeliest to always be the last, last zone to be in. Either some volcanic area or some deck area. That's how it always is in RPGs. One thing is clear. These dungeons are arranged to assist in the ransacking of them. But there is a glitch in the system, an anomaly working against their design, the guards. They work autonomously, without thought. Their only concern, the defense of the treasures in the dungeon. Which seems in direct conflict with the dungeon's sole purpose. I'd wager whatever places the guards here is separate from what forms the dungeons. Well, that is an interesting thought. I mean, why would they just give us portals to places and then like be like, oh, we are gonna defend that stuff. Maybe the traps. Or maybe they could be a thing caused by another entity. Whichever could be true. I wonder that myself. Okay, we already found the route to the first boss, it seems. Let me check the path to the right still. That's the only place I haven't been to yet. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that laser is actually permanent, basically. Oh, well, not permanent, but it, is, it lingers. Not just like a one-shot thing. Ah, oh, very interesting enemies, very interesting. Fluid Conduct. This looks so unlike a desert plate. This would be more like the tech dungeon. Oh well. Let's see. A conduit for transporting fluid, most likely lava. It looks designed to minimize any loss of heat during transportation. Okay, well that makes sense. If you want to transfer lava for some reason. I wonder what for. Oh, there's another one of you guys. Well, how about you come over here? Okay, you can move diagonally. Although you did not go even in a direction that would have actually helped you at all. Well, thanks anyway. Oh, come on! Different direction of the same item? Man, they do not want to make this easy. Volcanic stone, officially the worst item in the dungeon. But even that is worth at least 100 already. Pretty nice. Ooh, we got so many metal sheets. Yeah, this is gonna be honestly pretty productive, I must say. To be honest, I, one thing I realized before I came here is that I don't actually have full potions. I sold the five stack, but did not like fill my my previous normal stack. So we don't have as many 
potions for this run, but it seems like we won't be needing that many anyway. Unless the boss is gonna be particularly tough. But yeah, we don't get any much of the debris to sell right now, which was my original idea for the banker, because we got the warp chest, but... Uh, hope we can find enough debris to sell in the next area, on, on the next floor. Okay, I can just drop everything. There was nothing for me to turn in. I guess it's okay to turn these quest items here. Yeah, I believe. I didn't even check, like, what my deadline for that is. But I feel like I should have enough time to do that. Well, no healing required. I already lost my, all my defenses. Data entry 103. The recent store shortages are no longer considered errors in keeping. Materials and various tools are actually vanishing on a daily basis. A car program is being created to keep an eye out for the intruders. Well, good luck with that. Oh! That is not just a hexa, that honestly looks like that one Japanese rolling toy. That, like, one spinning toy. Well, that was easy. Or maybe it was a little bit too, um, ready for the next encounter. But that was pretty easy, at least, for the basic difficulty. Let's hope the second floor one is not gonna be too difficult. Assuming I'll even get that far. Because I'm expecting that on second floor, like always, I'm gonna have some trouble. From a magnetic engine. Oh, that's pretty valuable. I think that's gonna be at least 5,000. Ooh, record items already. Fireproof cloth. That's gonna be definitely for armor. And wires of some sort, it seems. Maybe it's like copper coil. Gonna need that later. Gonna need to find masses of that. Katamari balls! Thanks for showing your intention of where you're spinning. Very convenient. Come here, buddy. I'm here. I'm over here. Thank you. <sighs> Stupid balls. They don't have eyes. Okay, maybe that makes sense, that they won't have eyes. Cloth dye, huh? Well, it fits their color theme, it seems. How much is this? Just under fluid conduct, it seems. Okay. Cool. Uh, 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 this is a tougher one. Oh, you didn't quite die from that. Interesting. You're gonna spawn there, huh? No mercy, buddy. No mercy. Any secrets? Nah. Ooh. I still need to be more careful about that one. Ooh. Okay, you're a scary enemy. Admittedly very scary. It's very hard to try to score a hit on you without getting hit myself. It's gonna be either, either slow or risky. Inflammable liquid, thank you for that. More cloth dye and more chill lava. Guess I'll put that there. Yeah. Ooh, another book. Nice. Oh my. I can now confirm that at the bottom of every dungeon is a giant beast. I would like to spend further time looking into whatever they may be guarding, but something else caught my eye today. I witnessed a new creature near the aforementioned Colossus. It was not concerned with me, so it wasn't a guard. It was a smaller, orange variant of the green monster. Oh! The one that occasionally chases me if I spend too much time in a dungeon. Which deserves more attention, honestly. Why is that thing around? But this small orange creature, he wasn't guarding treasure, and it was completely oblivious of me. What was it doing down here? Well, interesting indeed. I wonder if you're gonna be having another encounter with that thing at some point, or any encounter in general. Now, these things are easy enough, as long as they're not paired with anything else. By themselves, though, they're pretty simple. Okay, so the map looks like we only got one way to go, and we are still on four potions, surprisingly, so... Definitely not as tough as I thought it would be. It would be actually funny if I actually ended up, like, clearing the dungeon at first try. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, poor luck, dude. You should not get in, in the walls if you don't wanna, like, miss your fireball completely. By not even being able to aim at me. Okay, magnetic tool. Between inflammable liquid and thermal magnetic engine. So the thermal magnetic engine is still the most valuable thing I have, but it seems to be, like, pretty high up there. This is like equivalent to old bulbs to me at this point. Okay, how about I remove one of these curses, huh? This one is less likely to have a an equivalent coming to it, so I'll remove that. That there, nice. Nothing else that can be stacked right, no. Guess we gotta move on. Ooh. If I just try to feign it, it's gonna be easy to dodge. Wait, what are you doing? I have 
no idea. They were not attacking at all. And I didn't pay attention if it did anything earlier. Was certainly quite um, passive on me for some reason. I'm just so like jumpy because I don't know what enemies I'm facing. Okay, any secrets? I don't think I saw any. No. Okay, you're gonna be tough. Ow. Okay, that hurts. That hurts for sure. Ooh, okay, I should not be too careless with that. <gasps> oh, that was such a good clutch. Mmm. Okay, maybe if I get that, maybe if I get that laser going on the opposite direction, then go, then go the direction he's heading, like, not get in his way, but follow him. Maybe that's gonna be an easy way to actually nail him. But yeah, that is a very tough monster to deal with. That almost took two potions from me. Oh no. This can't be good. Ow. Mm. There are now a rate typical. This is worse, this is worse. Ow, they hurt so much. They hurt so much. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Ah, uh, this guy's being irrevocable is actually even worse. Ah, uh, please don't let me reset the room. I cannot deal with that. Ooh, actually fell, fell in. Nice. Oh, well maybe I can make the other one fall in too. That'd be nice. Ah, damn it, I almost got it. Please, let, just let me kill that one. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe I broke it. <laughs> because it stopped attacking me completely. Right, so that's all it has to offer for today. Well, what? I didn't even see you come before. I didn't see your eye anywhere. Okay, so... I can make an executed decision here. I can either go for the boss regardless of the green slime, or I should just, like, you know, talk tail now and not go there at all. Because there is the risk. I might die there. I only have one potion left. Mm, you know what? I'll make the risk, but only if I make the right decisions to do so. I'm gonna save the very best items I have here in the roster. Wait, this is like 10 times? Yo, that's sick. Magnetic tool, that's only one. That's not worth so much. Inflammable liquid, definitely worth keeping. Actually, need the fireproof cloth. Cloth dye. Flammable liquid. Fluid contacts are already threw away, so that's not a problem. Alright. These are like my highest value items that I have, or actually, hold on. A full stack of chilled lava. There we go. So in case I perish, I will still keep like half of the whole half of the whole tropes wor worth of stuff here. So let's just go ahead and give it a shot. Although I'm feeling a little bit inconfident about this. Let me at least got the ceiling pool. Okay, let's read this before we go. Data entry 125. According to this month's report, the most valuable items are being left untouched in our warehouses. Only tools and materials used to build our autonomous guard bodies are taken. Interesting. Okay, you heard at least now. You probably heard before too, but now you at least do. Since you're corrupted. Oh, come on, man! Seriously? Turret? Okay, if I just play the patient game, we'll be fine. Okay, patient game, patient game, patient game. Ow, 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 okay. Using my potion. Okay, it's half HP. But we lost half of ours too already. Mm, no! I isolated the wrong direction there. Oh no! I'm much away from dying. No! Ah, frick! So close! Ah! I should have had one more potion for this. I knew this was a bad idea, but you know what? We had four men. No, we had four magnetic cores. We had five magnetic cores. Oh, I knew that one thing could be worth a lot, but damn it, dude. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well, we still got a lot of stuff here because we burned a lot in the warp warp chest. But man, now at least know the boss patterns. That's the most important part. Man, if you just set a couple more potions, we could have actually made it with that. Well, that's how it is. Sometimes you take risks, sometimes you regret, sometimes you win. Most of regret though. Although this means I I can get the banker now. Although, what does the banker even do? Oh yeah, this is basically interest rate. Free money basically. Oh gosh darn it. I'm not hiring you. I don't need you. You're useless, go away. Well, that thing is now still um, 
bonus value, so I'll put you for 6,250. And once I get the second book, then I will um, put, put that into the casing as well. Yeah, not so many items sadly because we ended up messing up there, but we do have this treasure trove here, which is very nice. Although now that we have this treasure trove, we should actually wonder, since if you kind of buy the bank, then there is still something we can do instead, which would be to check if we can make any items here already, or if there is there something that we need in order to do that. We still need the copper wiring. Or whatever that thing is supposed to be. That's all we needed though. Weapon, needs some weird ass bar along with those thermal engines. So no luck for us sadly on this one, but ah, that was close. Actually, if it's only three of those engine things, mm, I'm kind of scared because if I buy those, actually I'm gonna be selling overnight, that's not a problem. Because I was thinking that if I do buy those engine things or like those um, copper wires, maybe I won't have enough money to enchant my new armor to be more defensive. Actually, I'm gonna need 96,000 in order to even make the recipe. It's gonna be 150k probably for the total cost roughly. 160k would say. So I will buy one of those, or three of those, for one item. And obviously for the suit this time. Okay, what's the item? Oh, I see. So he won't sell me items that I haven't seen before. Okay, so that... That effort is out of the way, then. We cannot do anything about that. Yeah, we haven't seen the bars yet, and we haven't seen the wires yet, so it doesn't sell me any. Oh, bummer. Well, next time, I guess. Can I make any weapons either, because I haven't seen the bars, so I'm completely empty on this one. So this served mostly as a scouting run, but let that not take us down too much. I think we- I think what we achieved is still pretty formidable, pretty nice. And I think what I'll be doing here is I'll be turning this into very nice profits in the meantime. I guess I'll be selling these plates as usual for a very normal price. I'll try for 27.50. Actually, I'll do this. Since we can. These are my most valuable items I'm gonna be selling today. So 2050 was glum. So 2750 plus 550 in order to make that make for the high price tag or the high demand that this is gonna cost. So it's 3300. Nice. So that's 33,000 if you actually manage to sell that, which is pretty impressive. Shield lava, 3,000 a piece. So that's gonna be 3600 for the high value. That's gonna be 18,000 right there. Already earning a lot. Just by looking at this. Desert stone, kind of the same thing. Actually, wait, inflammable liquid. That's gonna be my most valuable thing here as well. So between 3,200 low bottom and 16,000. So I guess if we, I would do 4,500. So with these, I would do 5,400 per piece. 27,000. Desert stone, I would say 3,000 and 3,600 for high price tag. There we go. That itself would be almost 100,000. Surprisingly. And the Joddings. Honestly, I won't sell that yet. I'll do... I guess die magnetic sand, just to figure out things. Or let me actually do... I got an idea. I'm gonna always start from the bottom. Sell my stuff in the normal places from there. And whatever I can fit into the pedestals, I'll put them there. Because that means more value to them. So I would say this one would go for 130, maybe. The highest value you can get aside from this is the nutritive water and the forest fruits. But I won't worry about those for now. Actually, we're gonna have so many customers now. I'm actually gonna be very bold about this. I'm sorry for spending so much time on this, but I just got such a big brain idea because of this. I will now put the magnetic cores and flammable dust in. Flammable dust is probably gonna be about 250. I'll do 300 for the glam price. Magnetic cores, in the other hand, are gonna be like, I don't know, 200? I'll try for 200. 250. And we'll start from there. Hopefully, we'll make a good, good profit from this. Wait, I didn't hire you? Or are you just running away? I think it's just, you know, walking around now. Not actually doing her duty because I didn't, I didn't hire her. Alright, that's nice, that's nice. More profits for me, baby. Okay, you're gonna expensive on that. Okay, how about fire gems? Fire gems are- oh, that's actually surprisingly valuable. Okay, die magnetic set, it seems. This stuff, I would put for 400, maybe. Let's see how that's gonna go. Thank you, come again. Okay, the fertile soil fertilizer was too much for one, one, 175. So one, about 1, 150. All right, there's a couple items I can still get here. Everything else, I don't have to sell. Oh, that's ex that's cheap. Okay, okay, good to know. Die magnetic sand is more than five, 400, it seems. All right, so. Magnetite. 
If 400 was very cheap, then this is definitely gonna go for 700, I, I would guess. Okay, now the fertile soil or the fer fertile, 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 yeah, fertile soil. This was what 1100 was good. So how about 1175 for a glam price? Okay, 3600 for those is too much. How about 3500? You know, maybe I should be doing those like on normal price as well, just to like see if this is like the real price for them. Normal, it would be, I would say, 20. 2800 maybe and then I guess I'll put another cheap item here, which would be the crystal shards Yeah, just gonna put this for like solid 600 tech dungeon stuff, but unusual. Okay, that's These were actually good price. Although I guess I knew that already, but 2850 2875 or 2900 3 380 or 3 480. Yeah, 3 480. Oh wait, actually I've already put them for that. I think Did I? Because, I don't know. Now that, that was good price. I put them for 2700 Okay. That was too expensive. Alright, alright, alright. That's for neutral, it seems. Wait, so... How does this work? What? A little confused, honestly. Like, are these actually being valued for the normal price? Or are they actually being sold for high price? Or is it only like certain people that are gonna buy them for high price or something? I have no idea anymore. Anyways, um, 2025. Let's try that. Too expensive, too expensive. All right, got you guys, got you guys. 1150 for these ones. And for this one, I would say 115. Okay, so your absolute maximum is the 2000, it seems. That's fine though. Oh wait, I got orders. Uh, Tim over Golem notes. Oh, there are those things. Sure, I'll try that. What about you? Uh, no, I'm not killing wind trees, sorry. So those are called wind trees, it seems, but that's like all information to us by now. We don't care. We're not concerned with them anymore. Okay, 2075. I kind of want to try that. You know what? I'm just going to go for a glam price 2050 and go with that because I don't know anymore. Uh, 205, 400 cents. So 2,460. Oh, no, 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 no. Hell no, buddy. Hell no. I don't know what you just tried to steal there, but I don't like that. I don't like that. That was close. That was close. The job is getting pretty small. I have a lot less time to react than they, than they used to. Oh. So that's sold. And that's cheap? Oh my god, those things are crazy. So I sold these for... <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Uh, I think I went down like a little bit from 3400, 30, so that would be like reversibly... Uh, how was it again? 2800 basically, like 2800. Yeah, but it was 3400, so I'll go 3500 here now. 2800 now would be normal price. Or closer to 2900 now, normal price. We'll see how it'll be. Okay, these things are actually not the fluid contacts yet. I'm gonna start from the wires. These things, oh gosh. 600 was too much, but how about I'll do 2500 for these? That was glum and that was um, way too cheap. Got it, got it, got it. I'll put this down for. 550. Ooh, things are really going out of hand, it seems. Indeed, I might even have to consider getting myself a cashier, but honestly, it's not that bad at the minute, so I wouldn't bother. Okay, just because the other things have been selling for cheap so far. 2,500. That's like very close to metal sheets at the minute. Do you even get any comments on this one? Okay, let me like decrease the price like a little bit, like 5,300, I guess, just to get a check-in on that. Everything else should still be up to date. Unless, I'll actually put this for 350 just to make sure. And then I guess I'll put the book here. This is worth a lot on its own. You may have had the pedestals, I'll put it there. I guess I'll sell the chill lava for 300. Or, no, it would be 3,000. Yeah, let's try 3,000, just to, like, you know, make it sure. Wait, actually, hold up. Yeah, 3,000, 3,000, I'll try that, I'll try that. I'm just not sure anymore, I'm really messing up with my brain with this, all these things I'm doing to myself. Okay, this one was, normal price would be about 5,000, so 6,000 for the glam price. Yeah, that's very good, thank you. I guess Nutri Water is coming with me. Putting those for 2,400 in here. How is that? Too much, okay. So, that's gonna be 5,200. Works for good, it seems. Well, thank you for all of you buying all this precious stuff from me. I appreciate it. Guess I'll move this. And put it here, back back here again. So, 7,000. This was too expensive. How about 1,200? Man, we are really running out of stock here, it seems. Actually, I should put fluid contacts in there, to be honest. Yeah, I'll put fluid contacts in there for the time being. 3,500 each. 
4200 a piece. And as for these, I'll try to go for if these are gonna be like, you know, reasonable price, 4200 maybe. Okay, how are the fluid contacts? Oh, too expensive, it seems. Maybe that's because they got it valued on basic price, it seems. Well, there we go. Or 4100. I'll try that. Too much, it seems. How about 6,500 or 6,700? Oh, you guys are making me so much money right now. Okay, which one was too expensive? This was. Okay, drop that to 2,250, I would say. This one, 3,000 was too much. Uh, how about 2,750 for you? Oh, the blue contact's actually sold. That's pretty nice. Thank you, come again. We got over 400,000. Jesus Christ. That was a good price. Thank you. Wait, the gem. Oh, somebody already reacted to this. Okay, 2150. This one is too expensive still. 1100 for items that I don't really care about anymore. We're almost out, out of the shop, but we can still probably like sell the last of it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, damn it. Too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. Um, 3100 and how about 2050? Yeah, very considerate with you guys. Very considerate. Come on now. Oh, the prices are still good. Last two, last two. That's sold. Sweet. Huh. We only kept the fire gems, so we almost sold the whole stock. But... Record winning amount of money there. Thanks to the pedestal tactic, I think. Yeah, we sold desert steel sheets at 86,000. For a total of 86,000. That's insane. Nothing that went over the value of 100,000 here, but we got a lot of, like, big sellers here. Very impressive numbers. 52,000 for five liquids. That's insane. 400,000 total gains. We can definitely afford ourselves an armor upgrade at some point when we get there. But yeah, we're gonna do any upgrades right now, sadly. We can only make, the, make us as potions, and then we'll be pretty much done. So just you wait, Andri. I'll be with you soon. And when I do, I'm gonna be just filling you with work orders. I promise. Right. So let me get us the new potions here. 200 health. Those are so girthy. Honestly, I think this might be overkill with our current HP, but I'll take it. At least it's gonna be a lot more healing power for us. Who could complain about that? But yeah, anyways, um, I think that's gonna get um, rebuked on the next episode, but I will double check that then. If not, then that's cool. But yeah, but that's gonna be all for today because we really, really got nothing else to do here. I guess I could do still a couple town upgrades or the shop upgrades. Just get myself a better bed and also get myself a better chest. But after that, it's pretty much it. We got nothing else to do here. That being said, guys, thank you so much for joining on this one. I hope you enjoyed the Moonlighters episode as always. And I hope I'll be seeing you in the next one when I'll be going deeper into the desert dungeon, finding maybe some more secrets and hopefully starting to prepare for the next boss that is found at the desert dungeon. But until next time, it's bye-bye.